Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today as you can see from the title of the video, um, we're going to be doing a colorful apartment build. Um, I think I've done one named kind of like the same thing before. Um, so yeah, I think it's just like a nice little colorful apartment. Um, originally, like you'll see the colors that I was going to go for were a little bit more like kind of earthy and um, not as like bright. But then as I went further into building it, I just kind of decided to take it in a different direction and go for something a little bit more colorful. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how the interior ended up looking. Um, I'm not sure if I, I don't think I've done this apartment before on the channel. I know I've done a couple of other apartments in Stan My Shoe now, um, but I don't think I've done this one. And this is like in that um, the fashion district, I think. Uh, yeah, it's 13... 1321 Sheik Street um, or is that 19 I can't really see the window that I'm looking at is a little bit small but um, it is like the Sheik Street apartments um, that's in the fashion district in San Myshuno so I don't think I've done a build there um, for the channel before but I built there many times for like myself and just building in the game and um, I don't know if I've done this layout uh, when I've like built here before i don't think i have um i usually like have the bedroom on the side where i have the living room in this build so i went for something that i didn't don't usually do um but i think it turned out really nice um i might have a little bit of lower energy today and it's because i have not really slept i think i slept maybe a total of two hours um since yesterday so i'm just really tired <laughs> so if i sound worn out it's because i am <laughs> um i was gonna skip doing the voiceover but um i decided to just kind of pull through i don't know if it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter voiceover we'll see how it goes maybe i'll just find myself rambling um all the way throughout like the 24 minutes but if i don't and it stops like halfway um it's because i'm exhausted <laughs> Um, but yeah, anywho, um, we're in the bathroom now. I do change like, yeah, I'm changing the tile flooring and everything because I wasn't feeling the vibes of like the kind of more neutral stuff. I want to do something really bright. I feel like I haven't done like a really bright thing like build in a bit. I feel like I've been doing a lot of like neutrals and, um, like deeper kind of colors. So yeah, I don't know. I just felt like doing something a little bit bright. Um, or very bright, I guess, for some people with like the bright yellow walls in the bathroom with like the oranges and everything. Uh, but I just really liked it. And I also like the artwork that I chose for this build. I feel like I haven't used, I'm, I'm sure that I haven't used them before because it's like new custom content that I downloaded. Um, and they're just so bright and pretty and I really like them a lot. I think that's something that I want to um, make. Because I've made like rugs and stuff, like I've done like recolors or whatever, like base game recolors um, and some CC recolors of rugs um, and I've done walls, but I don't think I've done like paintings. I did do, and I used it in this build, but I did actually end up doing a recolor of the um, poster. I think it's base game, I'm pretty sure it's base game, but like the posters that um, you can use for like, I don't know, teenagers rooms or kids rooms and stuff like that. But um, I did recolor of that. So that's in the bedroom of this apartment. Um, and I just, when I was like building this apartment, I kind of just thought it was like a single sim who just moved to San Myshuno for the first time. Um, I think like maybe they're not like a city person or something, I don't know. In my head, I was like, maybe they've just moved here. Um, like, it's the first time living alone. Their first apartment. And um, they're just, like, getting used to the city life. And you'll see in the living room when we get there that I put uh, these, like, Polaroids and stuff. Um, and I, it's, like, of, like, different people and, like, places and stuff. And in my head, I was kind of thinking that the Sim who lives here, since they just got here, um, like, when they have... Uh, like meet new people and like have new sims over Maybe they have them like take photos and then like they put them on the wall as Like a cute little keepsake for like having them over at their like first apartment for the first time 
and just like the places that they've gone um, while they lived here like just like I don't know I thought that was kind of like cute to have like a memory wall kind of thing that they have in their apartment that they like share with people over time I thought that was kind of a cute idea so that's what like the little random Polaroid wall is um, when we get to the living room area um, I just thought that was a cute idea for like somebody who just moved to um, their first apartment and they're getting to know people and yeah I don't know I just like that idea um, one thing I did notice when I was like finished building was that I didn't really decorate the front hall area that much. It's not that big of a space. Um, I'd basically just like be able to put a rug down, maybe like a mirror or something. But, um, yeah, it wasn't something I realized until I had already like finished putting all the files and everything in. So I'm sorry that it's kind of bare <laughs> at the front door. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know, it somehow... Uh, slipped my mind when I was doing this build but um, yeah anyways I changed some of the coloring of like the flooring and things because um, yeah I was changing like the overall vibe and like making it more colorful so I decided to go for a little bit of a lighter flooring and for the kitchen I wanted to do something colorful so I went with a yellow kitchen um, I don't think this is the first time I've done a yellow kitchen I'm pretty sure I've done it before but I don't know it's so bright and happy and cheerful so I like it and this apartment the way that it's um facing in San Myshuno it doesn't get a whole lot of light so I wanted to be able to um like have the color kind of everywhere that it just kind of makes it feel a little bit more bright and happy um if they're not getting like a, a whole lot of natural light from like the windows and everything so I don't know that's kind of the idea just kind of brightening up a little bit of a darker apartment that doesn't get a lot of natural light um with some bright you know accent pieces or furniture or like art and paintings and things like that to kind of liven up the area so that's kind of what i went for um but yeah i don't think i've used these specific like counters and cabinets before um they're from my shoe no sun and i think it's the mandel kitchen i think that's what it's called um, but I don't think I've used these before, but they're really nice. I like them a lot. I like the countertop of them. Um, I don't see a lot of like, I don't know, maybe it's just like my own CC hunting fault. Like maybe I'm just not like seeing them, but I don't see a lot of like terrazzo um, top counters, but I really like the way that it looks. So that's kind of the vibe. That's kind of the, um, the vibe for this, but uh, yeah. Um, I was kind of cluttering things up and um, moving things around and I just wanted to feel like obviously this sim has lived here um, for a little bit um, it is like their first apartment like I said before but they've lived here for um, maybe a couple months to like a year or something so they definitely still have like clutter and their belongings and everything laying around and I use the fridge that I'm still obsessed with by KKB um, I just love that fridge it looks so I just love the mesh of it it just looks really nice it's like really well made and I like the ladles and like the cloth and the stickers and the um, oven glove and everything on it I don't know I just like how homey it looks so I know I'm overusing that I think I've I've managed to not put that in a couple builds um, but I do use that often because I love that fridge <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was thinking recently, like while I was doing this apartment, um, and I was like getting the like CC and stuff like that and making the CC list, um, that I wanted to maybe try doing, um, like a build that has a little bit more or a little bit less, um, CC. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just like as a little challenge to myself, um, obviously like it would still have some CC, but like doing... I've done a build like that before in the past where it was kind of light CC. Um, so I might do that again just to like save time on on the like, you know, getting the CC source and everything and making the list because it's pretty time consuming. I've made like a little document. I'm trying to make like a virtual mods folder just so it's easier to link everything to everyone. Um, and then on my Tumblr page, I finally set up like a little resource page on there for like um, frequently asked questions and like things that I get. 
um, for like what I post. So I might, you know, when I'm like done the virtual mods folder, cause I haven't, I don't know. I like switch things in and out. So it's kind of hard to keep track of it all when it's like constantly changing, but I do want to try to, um, like put that on my resources page. So if people want to like see what's in my mods folder for like build by CC, then they can just like click on it and then it'll take you to like a little document thing that I've set up with like a table of like the creator and then like it's just it has like the names of everything and it's just like a hyperlink so it'll just like take you right to it um so yeah I'm kind of in the process of trying to do that so hopefully I can get that all finished up so it makes the easier the process sorry the process easier for me and obviously for you guys as well if I have that on my resource page on tumblr so yeah that's something in the works that I'm trying to get done. Now we're in the, um, well, we've been doing the kitchen for a little bit here, but I've just kind of been talking over it. <laughs> but um, I did want to put like a little dining space for the Sims to be able to eat. I was going to put it in the kitchen, but it just felt like, obviously this apartment's pretty small, but it felt a little bit too cramped. Um, with like the dining area in the kitchen. So actually move it on to the wall um, in the living room just because it was like a blank area and I probably would just put like bookshelves or something over there anyways. So I decided to make the space useful and just have it as like a little dining area um, and it gives like Sims more space. So like if they have people over, um, then there's like more space for them to like sit and everything. So I think it worked out. I think it would have been a little bit too um, cluttered and like not, it wouldn't have been as spacious in the kitchen for the sims to move around um and i know how annoying it is to have like a small living space for your sims and then you're trying to get them to like play guitar or, or like do some kind of action and then they have to like leave the apartment to do it because there's not enough space <laughs> which is super annoying so i wanted to try and make sure that there was like enough space for sims to do it and I finally actually play tested this build. I'm really terrible at doing that. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to get in the habit of doing that more. So this is play tested and everything worked for me. So hopefully um, it all works for you guys as well. Um, I'm, I have a really bad habit of not play testing. So I want to try to um, do that more so I can make sure that everything's functional and ready to go for gameplay. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, we're in the living room area now and there's like this little mouse hole that's in here and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it because I did delete, um, with like the tool mod, I deleted the, I think it was like the electrical and like the pipes and stuff. Cause that's in like the, this, cause it's a TLC apartment. Um, there's also like a dead body outline, <laughs> which I also deleted, um, usually I'll just like cover it up with like a, a carpet or something, but I just decided to delete it. Um, but yeah, I left this mouse hole just so like there'd be some kind of gameplay when it came to like the D the TLC lot challenge. Um, so there is a, a mouse hole in this apartment. So you will have mice, you know, popping their heads out every now and then and freaking your sim out. <laughs> um, if you wanted to like play with that. Um, if you have the tool mod and you don't want to play with that, then you can delete it if you would like, but I thought I'd leave at least like one instance of that kind of feature in here, just in case people wanted that. Cause I know some people want that extra, um, challenge for their gameplay. So I get the mouse hole, but I deleted the other stuff. I don't think this apartment has, actually it might've, I know like this, that some apartments have like the vent. Um, and it makes like a stinky smell come out of it ra randomly. Um, I think this apartment might have had it, but I deleted that one. So there's only that, the only challenge I think is the mouse hole. Um, just if people wanted it. But yeah, now we're just kind of um, cluttering up the, the not the kitchen, <laughs> the living room. Um, with these pillows and the couch and everything. I don't think I've used this couch before in um a build yet but it's it's nice i think it's a nice couch for like an apartment or something um and then i was trying to like figure out the colors because i wasn't sure i was kind of going into earthy tones so i wanted to do something a little bit brighter like the rest of the apartment so i kind of switched up 
some of the colors in here so that it would still be kind of cohesive with some of the colors that you see in artwork and like other stuff around the apartment um but just like it would complement it um so yeah i was trying to get you know something colorful but wasn't like so subdued because i think i was going more in the subdued direction at first and then of course i made a gallery art wall above the couch because i love doing that um i want to do that in my own house but i have not um gotten a chance to like you know like curate a wall um of like art that i would um sorry i had to do a little bit of a burp <laughs> um but curate a wall of art um that i like enough because obviously you have to like source all the art that you want and like get the prints and order them and all that stuff so yeah i haven't done it yet um i think i would like to do it in my room just because it's my space and um yeah just have like artists that i like i want to put some of my own stuff up too um because i draw and stuff like that um so yeah i don't know i want to put like the characters <laughs> that i draw on my wall and kind of mix it in with other artists that i really like um i don't know just to make it cozy and homey i just think that gallery walls are a good way to fill up wall space and have lots of visual interest um and also just like show off things that you like and your personality and everything so i tend to do it in my um sims builds and i'd like to do it in real life too um, so hopefully I can do that at some point. I do want to say, um, that I use this, like, projection screen that's really cute. It has, like, the fairy lights on it. Um, and I think it came from the SYB Love is in the Air set. Um, uh, and I really like the way it looks, but it doesn't, I don't think it works. I, at least it didn't for me. Um, like I said, I, like, play tested everything. And it technically works because, like, basically what happens is I like tell my sim to go watch a movie or watch TV or whatever and the screen lights up like it gets a little bit brighter um like it's on but there's no there's like nothing playing on the screen and I don't know why it doesn't work for me um I don't think I saw like any fixes or anything on SY or SYB yes yeah, I think it was like Cybelette's set so I didn't see anything on their page for like an update for it um, at the time that I looked at it when I built this apartment. But for some reason, it just like lights up. It like gets brighter, but it doesn't actually show like what they're watching. So I'm not sure what that's about. Um, so that's the only thing like it technically fun functions because the sim like sat and the fun was going up like they were watching something, but I just couldn't see it. <laughs> um, so technically it works and then but it technically doesn't because you can't actually see what they're watching but it still functions like as if it's working if that makes any sense it's just not visually on um but yeah that was the only thing i ran into when i was play testing that was kind of weird but i'm not really sure how to fix that because i didn't make it <laughs> so um yeah and it does come with like this little like this CC set comes with the screen and it comes with this little projector. And I thought maybe it was cause I didn't have that, but I put it on the table and then aimed it towards the screen and it still didn't work. I didn't think it was gonna work cause I didn't think it would be that realistic, but it, it didn't work. So yeah, I don't know what that's about, but I just thought I'd mention that just in case um, you got like the projector screen was like, what, like this thing isn't working. It didn't work for me either. If it doesn't work for you, I'm not really sure what's up with that but anyways um now we can see that i'm doing the little gallery walls talking about with like the polaroid pictures of like people that they've made friends with and places that they've gone um as they've like moved out of like their family home and now that they're on their own just like the memories that they're making in the city living their single life and i don't know i just thought that was like a cute little thing but that's what that is on that wall there um and then i think after this I think it's mostly it for here. I think I'd put up like a couple curtains and then it's off to the bedroom and the bedroom is pretty simple. It's just like, it was pretty small. So I just, there's just like a walk-in closet um, with like a bed and a mirror and a little kind of like footstool to like sit and put your shoes on. And I think that's pretty much it um, for that room. But yeah, I think that's it for this voiceover. Um, there's a couple minutes left of the 
build but i think it's literally just the bedroom <laughs> so yeah i think that's it for this build um at least for this voiceover for this build because i'm <laughs> i'm pretty tired so i think i'm gonna try and get some sleep um but thank you for being here and thank you for watching and i will see you all next time in the next video I'll leave you here with some music and just the rest of this bedroom here and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>